Recent political attacks shined a spotlight on Minnesota's immigrant communities. Our state has the country's largest Somali-American population, more than four times of the next largest area, Ohio. So why have so many Somali-Americans chosen to live here? Good question. Here's Heather Brown. My brother came here first. I came 2015. I came in my family. I come from Kenya. The only thing connecting me is state of Minnesota, it was Prince. There isn't just one Somali-American story. I was born in Mogadishu, Somalia. And I was born out in California, San Diego. But rather 69,000 in Minnesota. I came to the United States in 1974 as an undergraduate to the University of Wisconsin. Ahmed Samatar is a professor of international studies at McAllister College. Long before the Civil War. Oh, long before, many, many, many years before the Civil War. That was 1991. There was a horrible dictatorship, military dictatorship, starvation and disease, extremely violent. And it sent Somalis fleeing all over the world, including tens of thousands to the U.S. as refugees. It wasn't that the U.S. government assigned people to come to Minnesota originally. They sent them all over the place. They sent them not just Minnesota, all over the place. The state of Washington in Seattle, New Hampshire, and Atlanta. And then, of course, when some came and they found out about this, uh, they will tell others the good news about Minnesota. Number one is the job, jobs. People were more, more welcoming over here. All my family here, my friend back home here. So a crowd kind of created yes. a crowd. Yes, I, I call that the, 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 the call of kinship. Word spread about jobs here, many in western Minnesota. The possibility of housing the possibility of health care. Minnesota is really the safest place in the Midwest. The possibility of schooling for their children. Where are you going to school? Uh, MCTC. And the state of Minnesota, which has always been seen as a kind of a kind, progressive place. Minnesota is also home to several volunteer resettlement agencies who work with the government, like Lutheran Social Services and the Minnesota Council of Churches. It is the nature of the welcome itself. Uh, you know, and how hospitable that is. When a refugee arrives to the U.S., most come with very little to their name. They're given a one-time federal grant of $1,175, help from the private resettlement agencies, and for the first five years, federal money via those agencies for housing, school, or finding jobs. Last year, that was $4 million in Minnesota for more than 10,000 refugees. This town is, it has money opportunity. It's my home, too. And I like it. Heather Brown. I think he's home for many Somali communities. WCCO 4 News. If you do come to the U.S. as a refugee, you are eligible for citizenship after six years. 40% of Minnesota's Somali-American population was born in the U.S. 81% are citizens.